Adam and Eve could cover their bodies. And as I said, that it was a good and reasonable thing to do as it is for all of us. But you know what they couldn't do? They couldn't hide their sin. And neither can we. And we're going to study this later. Verse 21, look at it. The Lord God made garments of skin for Adam and his wife and clothed them. Now, in order for God to make them a garment of skin, what did God have to do? He had to kill an animal. Blood had to be shed. And this demonstrates that we can try to cover ourselves with our own fig leaves, with our own good works to get us right with God. But in the end, we can only be covered by God through a sacrifice. That's God's design. Nobody but Christianity has this understanding. And that is for God alone to do, to cover our sins with the person and the work of Jesus Christ. And we're going to get on more to that in verse 21. But consider as we close, like Lucifer, Adam and Eve fell so far that there was nothing good in them according to God's standard of goodness. Not our standard of goodness. God's standard, of, which is, of course, moral perfection to the holy law of God all our life. And that condition is how we all come into this world in our physical birth. This, folks, is why we so desperately need a Savior. You don't need Jesus to make you feel better. You don't need Jesus to make you more prosperous. You don't need Jesus in order for you to live your best life now. As David Miller says, your best life is yet to come. You need Jesus to save you from your natural, miserable, wretched condition and bring glory in that transformation that He designed that can only be described as a miracle. How does an IV drug user with six arrests in three parishes go from that to being a Christian, to being a preacher, for heaven's sake? A miracle that God wrought in my heart because in my natural condition, all that I could offer to Him was my sin. My works? you got to be kidding me. It's Christ's work on our behalf. God covers us with the person and work of Christ and it's His righteousness that makes us right with God.